I have uh, Jason Waldner, who is um, a comedy director and savant. <laughs> and uh, we also have some special guests. But let me introduce my co-host uh, for today. Um, he has been on the show previously, a couple of appearances, and uh, uh, we... He, he works down the hall here. Uh, but l- let me tell you what's going on. Indy 103.1 is a radio station. It's owned by Entravision, which owns a lot of different radio stations, including, I, I would say, 99% of them uh, Spanish-language radio stations. Say. <laughs> Well, then, let me just cut to the chase and introduce my guest. Uh, this is Chupacabra. How are you, sir? Bien, bien. Gracias, Katowkerman. And welcome to Siento3.com, El Gato. Uh, actually, not El Gato, but uh, Indy 1031. El Gato is your station, though, which is down... Yo soy un gato! Just hold that camera right up to the mic, by the way. <laughs> um, uh, that was not me with the camera. Full disclosure. <laughs> now, Chupacabra, you worked down the hall. See? You you wandered into the studio one day a few uh-huh. months ago, and you, uh, I believe you had a, a little too mas tequila, and you thought that this was your studio. That's good Spanish, Catalker, man. <laughs> Thank you. You speak Spanish as well as I speak English, but the opposite. <laughs> Um, That's right. I had I had had a little bit of tequila, and I came in here thinking it was a bathroom, because it is filled with the refuse of a bygone radio station. <laughs> okay, people are throwing things in here now. <laughs> so you wandered in, and you uh, in the middle of my show, yes. and, and uh, I just I thought you were a fantastic talent. I don't quite understand how to. <laughs> that's, that's a poor interpretation. <laughs> I grabbed a microphone, and I was very masculine, and you were scared by this. <laughs> I was a little frightened. And I so I stayed. I don't know how to describe what it is you do on your program. I, I, what, uh, where where can... is I? I have phone calls. I play music. We do the traffic. Mm. All of it. All, all of, of it. it. All and of what it. is it that you do here, hanging out with pasty, overweight white people? <laughs> <laughs> well, I... <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't do any of those things usually. I don't take phone calls. I don't no. do the traffic. No. I, do, uh, I, do, I do play a little music. Which, That's right. By the way, I do want to say we're in week two. I'm being held hostage by data recovery. Um, what is this? My is that a bad guy in a <laughs> Tom Cruise movie. <laughs> data recovery. I all of my music is was on a hard drive that uh, unfortunately I wasn't backing up for the last couple of months. So. Well, I just irresponsible, Scott Aukerman. <laughs> Now, you know a lot about data recovery. Sure, yes, that's right. I know a lot about data recovery. We have all of the intervision, all of those things are backed up on cassette tape. Oh, really? Well, yes, we have every show. Uh, now, do you have any players for that cassette tape? Yes. Hmm. We have a Walkman. We play it off a Walkman. A walk, uh, Walkman. A Walkman. See? Eh, más que eso, we have a... Este, más que eso? What? Más que eso. Oh. More than this? More, yes. Listen, Scott Aukerman, for me to be here and to be bringing in my audience, okay? okay. You cannot mock the way I speak. No one's mocking. I am very deferential and very uh, respectful of the way you're speaking. I just need to be clear on what you're saying because it sounded like you were talking about more cheese, mas queso. No, but that would be great. <laughs> that was a rat eating cheese. <laughs> <laughs> So, in any case, I I, ha- I brought a couple of CDs, whatever I have. I also uh, w- was sent something today. It's it's on my desk. It's uh, something called Broad Comedy. Maybe we'll play a song from okay, it. Okay, that's we'll a, talk about it. That's a play on words. <laughs> because it's a lot of women. Right. Yes. Not everyone is looking at the CD cover, which features uh, five uh, women in silhouette. Yes. What I like to do is limit my comedy by putting it into a box. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> we may play a little bit of that, but but back to what we were talking yes. about. I, I play music, but I don't do the traffic. I don't take phone calls. Do you no. want to do any of those well, things? Well, I have a caller right now. Oh, we have a caller. Yes, yes, yes. Engineer Stewart, you didn't tell me there was a caller. Okay, there's a caller on line three. Should we pick it up? All right, let's pick it up. Let's let's see how you deal with a caller. Oh, I guess I am, baby. Oh, it's a baby. Wait a minute, the baby. There's a baby on the phone. Que pasa, baby? <laughs> que pasa, baby? I uh, yeah, my question is for Scott Ackerman. Oh. It, uh, did you receive my CD, Copro Comedy? <laughs> uh, 
I, baby, I, I, See? do you, do you have the, the body of a woman, but the, the mouth of a baby? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. Oh, baby. baby, don't cry. It's okay, baby. <laughs> I managed it. Oh, oh, the okay, baby manages bro comedy. Baby, how did you get into managing? <laughs> I, I, I saw that mother show, and I was very passionate about them. Why are you still crying, by the way? Are you still insulted? You said I had the lady of a body. A body of a lady of a baby, and I know how to speak properly. Oh, baby, it's okay, baby. We have the DVD in front of us, as well as the CD. Yeah, we wanted the visual component. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> this is this manager or this baby is a good manager. Yes, I don't know he's very good. Hey, baby, do you do cocaine? <laughs> That's why he's in management. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, anyone who does cocaine. Yes, uh, but baby, do you have any other question? Mm, is God coming? <laughs> yes, I'm here, baby. I'm on the. I'm. I'm right here for you. What can I answer? What inspired you to start the comedy theatre? Oh gosh, such such an interesting question that I could go on for hours about. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it nap time? Do you want to be lulled to sleep? Is oh, that no. why you're asking me? <laughs> okay. Yo quiero Hugo de manzana. Well, he want apple juice. <laughs> oh, okay. Can we get him some apple juice? He can crack it. And a cracker. He can crack it. If mom, baby's mom, if you're ah, listening. I don't want cracker. I want graham cracker. Oh, gra- graham cracker. Yeah. Okay, uh, baby's mother, if you're listening, if you're baby's at work. Baby's mother. Oh, we got the baby's mother on line three. Oh, line three. Let- also Engineer on Stu- line three. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. Oh. <laughs> Hello, baby's mother. Hello. How are you, Scott? You sound, uh, you have a very sultry voice. Yes, did you make my baby cry? I did not make your baby cry. Uh, your are baby you lying dis- to uh, me, Yes, Scott I am Duncan? lying. Yes. <laughs> That's I can't right. lie to you. I am from Bro Comedy. Oh, <laughs> really? So now I'm getting a little bit of the story here. Mm-hmm. Broad Comedy is managed by this baby, but See, the only reason that he was there at the show was because I was breastfeeding him. <laughs> <laughs> On that stage? sounds like a great show. <laughs> that was my boner. <laughs> uh, what is your name, uh, lady? In broad comedy. Gloria. Uh, Stefan. <laughs> Gloria Stefan. Not that one. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Not that one. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm very <laughs> excited to play uh, some of your music on the air. Yes. That we are very excited to hear your music, Gloria <laughs> Stefan. Yes. Uh-huh. Could I ask you a question? Do you have two different lines that you are calling from? No, I'm calling from the cell phone. Okay, baby. <laughs> That's a little dangerous, baby. Today's show is sponsored by baby cell phones. <laughs> baby cell phones. For yes. Ba- for babies who for can't, babies. can't pick up a regular. Do you want a cell phone, but you're a baby with stupid fingers that I cannot press buttons effectively? You're some baby cell phone. <laughs> is there any more to that commercial? <laughs> no. It's just a cell phone you can put in your mouth and not choke on it. Well, because it's too big or it's, it's too, too soft? Big. It's too soft. It's too big. It's too soft. The baby cell phone is just right. <laughs> uh, are that was st- like Goldilocks. <laughs> are they still on the line? Baby, you still there? Uh oh, I think I know what's going on. Yes, he cannot talk right now, the baby. Because he's a sucking on your teeth. <laughs> Keeping it classy, chupacabra. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, let's hang up on them. What okay, goodbye, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so that's ju- that's a small taste of what you do on your show. I yes. should I should start taking callers you here should on this take show. No, no one ever calls in. You should take callers. No one knows the number. I think. Ah, what is the number? One eight hundred failed radio station. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Chupa, that's uh, that's a little taste of what you're going to bring to the show today. Yes, I will be burning bridges all show long. This is Jason Wolner. How are you, buddy? Hi, Scott. Uh, Jason, let's explain what, you. What, am I job living? Oh, hello, Chupa Cabra. <laughs> Thank you, Jason Wolner. Let's explain you. Who are you? What are you? <laughs> I am um, mostly a director. Mostly a director. Uh, what else do you do? I, I, uh, I'm part of, or was part of, uh, Human Giant. Yes. Which... Now, can I ask a question? Yes, please. Chupacabra, but, play, but you do not need to ask. Please just jump in anytime you want. Okay. So I can begin now? 
You, again, no need to ask. <laughs> All right. And so here we go. We the question now. Mm -hmm. Jason, what's it like to n feel now in, when you're in L.A. writing? Uh-huh. You see, you must feel behind the people coming up to you all day long. That's going, are you the fourth member of right. Human Giant that could not act? All right, I, I see where you're going with this. It's, no, that's... Uh, this is classic of... chupacabra is sarcasm. <laughs> Do they have sarcasm in Spanish? No. You have to say it afterwards. You have to say it. I you go, have to make sure. I go, that's a nice shirt. I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> because people in... in uh, no, there Spanish is no irony countries. below yeah. the Mason-Dixon line. There's not a lot of subtlety <laughs> in, or nuance in the way you speak either, so I, I imagine it would be hard for people to catch that you're being sarcastic. I don't understand your tone! <laughs> <laughs> that was not sarcastic. That was literal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we have? We have Jason Wallner, we have Ch Chupacabra, <laughs> perhaps a special guest <laughs> coming. Nothing. As soon as I give some sort of a high sign. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that's right, cowboy. That's that's me. That, that was, was that me. Wasn't that, you. Was that was me. All right, cowboy. Who's that character? That's John Wayne. I have I have <laughs> noticed that any time, like, say, an English person or someone from another country tries to do an quote American unquote See? accent, uh, they they do a Southern like John Wayne type of thing. That's right, cowboy. <laughs> and that's all they say. Yes, agreeable and. Calling someone a cowboy. <laughs> That's what you all are. <laughs> do you have cowboys in, uh, where? Yes, they're First called all, vaquero. What do, they, what do they say? They say, hola, yo soy un cowboy. <laughs> what, what country <laughs> are I you? I say, what, <laughs> what's going on in here? Wait a minute, wait a minute. This, <laughs> what is uh, happening may I here? Speak it, may I speak it to this microphone? What, wait a minute. Someone explain to me yes. what just happened. Oh, hello. Because it, uh, hello. <laughs> It's me, uh, Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber. I was just talking to two people, and yes, now a third. I'm a third out. person, don't what, you know? What is this? It's my, uh, Scott. Don't you recognize me? Wait a minute, who Sir is Andrew this? Lloyd Webber. Sir Andrew, wait from Knight of the British Empire. Oh, fr from the San Francisco bonus episode. Yes, I was that San Francisco treat, wasn't I? <laughs> Yes. Hello, sir. Sir, dame. Dame, sir. Yes. <laughs> Just call me Sir Andrew Lord Webber. Scott Rick, it's a pleasure to see you again. Thank you for allowing me to, uh, as you say, bum rush your radio program. Uh, sir ALW, it is always a pleasure to see you. D do you prefer A&W or just ALW? I prefer ALW. A&W, I think, puts uh, an unhealthy association with the root beer in people's minds. <laughs> What could, what could you possibly be doing here well, at Indy 1031? I, I, I'm recording uh, my own radio program. What? <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm, competing? Uh, yes, upstairs at Indy 1034. And, well, uh, that's three floors above us. That's right. <laughs> that's right. And uh, I just thought I'd take a break from uh, talking to come down here and talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for dropping by. It it's always my a great pleasure. Uh, Thank you for having me, Scott. Uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber, yes. I, let's learn a little bit more about you. Please. Um, have you taken any trips to Las Vegas lately? <laughs> You know, I like to go there to uh, to write. Um, I'll go to a, a coffee shop in Volcano and uh, just get my thoughts together. I don't like writing in coffee shops here in okay, Los okay, Angeles. Okay, right. I don't sorry. like people to you know say, "Oh, there goes another Tony Award-winning composer asshole." <laughs> How many Tonys have you won? Oh my God! How many are there? Oh, I would imagine there's about, uh, they give out 20 per year, so in the story oh, history I, of the Tonys. I, I gauge it in terms of how many Tonys are left, and oh. so I think I, I do it by a percentage. I think I've won 80% of them. Oh, okay. 80% yes. of the future episodes. Of the future. So you're a Episo Tony. Yeah, the future episodes, episodes. of the Tonys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also working on my episode guide of the Tony Awards. <laughs> Doing recaps. Oh, oh, El Chupacabra! Oh, Hello! Hola, amigo! I didn't realize that. Oye, Oye, como va? You guys must pass each other in the yes, hall. Yes, I, I am doing the translation for Phantom of the Opera. Oh, uh, upside down exclamation point. Gracias, right side up exclamation point. <laughs> 
El fantasma del ópera está aquí dentro de tu mente. Oh, how's that, uh, how's that going? It's exciting! We cannot find distribution. <laughs> no. How much have you written? Just that? Or? Just that part. <laughs> well, how much do you need, really? That's I mean... enough sizzle. <laughs> Give them the sizzle that is as good as the promise of a steak. Exactly. Jason, anything to add? <laughs> no, I'm just... <laughs> this is what he does. He just lets people be funny Observing. and he presses play. That's all it is. And, and that's re- all it is. And boom, you get hired more than anybody else. Now, I am a fan of this Jason oh. Wollner. Oh, really? What have, you, what have you seen? Human giant weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> yes. That's right. You, you, Perhaps that's you, a different... You're a fan Jason of weekend at Bernie's? Weekend I'm, at Bernie's. Yes, I am a fan of weekend at Bernie's. Oh, wait a minute. I, that's right, because you used to be a child actor. Yes, I acted uh, when I was a kid. Yes. Ah, and, and it was such a positive experience <laughs> it was <laughs> that you continue to do it through your life. Now, I saw Weekend at Bernie's when I was 19. Mm-hmm. And how old were you when you were in it? I believe I was seven years oh old. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, were we ever so young? <laughs> what did you play? I was the uh, bratty kid who... Uh, came and buried uh, Bernie's dead body in the sand, <laughs> thinking that he was asleep. <laughs> I know. What happened? You said that they're the word. Which? You said that they're oh, the word. Oh, I said... Uh, I believe I it was a said, new gesture <laughs> yes, that you made. You truly are a fan. Well, I'm a bit of a super fan of Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> Have you what ever is- considered turning that into a musical? <laughs> oh, I, I, I've thought about it many times, of course, but it's... Of course. It's... <laughs> It's almost insurmountable. How how would I capture all the comedy, all the pathos, all the drama of Weekend and Birdies? Have you ever taken a few aborted attempts at writing oh, some I songs? Have. Can oh, we hear I one, have. one of the songs? Oh, well, uh, don't mind if I do. Oh, uh, here's one. It's, it's uh, entitled... Uh, uh, I think Bernie's dead. <laughs> now, who sings this, first of all? Is this Jonathan Silverman? This is, it's a duet. It's a rondelay between <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Silverman's character and Andrew McCarthy's character. Okay, the, the two friends of the oh, film. Oh, the two friends. What yes. were their names? Uh, As a super fan of Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> sure. Larry and Richard. I believe Richard. it was Larry and Richard. Uh, oh, no, no jumping in, Jason. Sorry. Larry and Richard, of course. <laughs> the two eternal companions in cinema history. <laughs> Yeah, the song I think Bernie's did, it went a little something like this. Right. Mm-hmm. Indeed, Let me just you, warm up. Oh, yes. Me, In, me, 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 me. Indy 103.1. <laughs> this is Comedy Death Ray. I think Bernie is dead on Indy 103.1. Comedy La- Death Ray. <laughs> Larry. Hey, Larry. I'm tapping you on the shoulder. I think Bernie's dead. La, la, la. Something, something. And then it goes on from there. <laughs> so you didn't get very far before you aborted. No. I, here's the thing. <laughs> I would start to write the song, then I would uh, return to the film uh, Weekend at Birdies Mm -hmm. for further inspiration, and I would realize I'll never be as good as this film is. Good. (laughs) It will never happen. You are also knee deep in male ass. (laughs) Hold on, hold on. I don't know a lot of your uh, Mexican expressions, (laughs) translated into English, of course. That must mean something different. Don't quite. No, as I have established, I'm married to a bikini model. (laughs) So, (laughs) she's gorgeous, gorgeous hunk of woman. Uh, we usually don't call women hunks. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> I do. Um, she's handsome. Now, uh, Dame Sir ALW. Um, Andy. You could call me Andy. Andy. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Sir Andy or? Just Andy. Just Andy. Andy, right. sir. Andy, sir. <laughs> Uh, the Oscars were last week. We did an Oscar- The Academy Awards! Yes, we did a preview of them last week. Yes, but, I listened. Uh, it was fascinating. Yes, but now they're over. Uh, do you have any yes. thoughts about uh, the Oscars? Well, you know, I I do enjoy the music. Of course, that's my category. Mm. Uh, I wasn't nominated this year. I had written several songs for Avatar that were turned down flat. By Jim Cameron. Can we hear one of the songs? Oh, well, I don't know if here goes one. <coughs> Blue people everywhere I look. I'm surrounded by blue people. <laughs> now, who, what character is and that? And it goes on from there. 
Oh, I don't know the the fellow. <laughs> really, anyone who isn't blue could have could have yeah. sung that. Sigourney I mean, Weaver. I wrote. I no, wrote she's these, blue in it. I wrote these songs without really watching the film. <laughs> oh, it I was see. just uh, someone described Avatar to me, and I started writing down some songs. Had it already come out by that point? Oh yes, yeah, this after it had been theatrically released. <laughs> oh, <what>? Yes. <laughs> It had been in theaters, I think, for a few months. I know you had proposed a system <laughs> whereby uh, the prints that already existed, yes. people, they would just add tape uh, players yes. to the theaters, yes. and they would just sort of press play yes. at certain points in the film. Yes. I said, how's about this? What if everyone in the theater, when they when they purchase the ticket, uh, in addition to being given the three-dimensional glasses... They get a free iPod. They are... Oh, that would have been a good idea. I suggested a Sony Walkman. Oh yes, that's a good. That's a good way to you share. You guys are your These are more I popular mean, than I had realized. Well, the, information. There must be tons of them lying about. So, how expensive could it be to outfit every man, woman, and child entering the theater with true. a Sony Walkman? Do you think that there is a working Sony Walkman for every person on this earth right now? Oh God, I hope so. God, I hope so. God, I haven't thought about that. That would be fascinating. I don't want to live in a world where there isn't. Even Africans. Even Afri- Even those Africans. Wow. All the way over there on the continent and country of Africa. How long would they last if everyone just started using them? Well, I, then you get Obsolescence into... Obsolescence things are made to break. Certainly. Not... Well, you know, I feel like the Sony Walkman was was built to last, not like these dratted iPods oh, with their yeah. built-in obsolescence. IPods I feel that... last, what, three years at best? Oh. At best! Oh. If you're lucky! And then you have those... Uh, the earbuds, they burn out like nobody's business. Yes. If you have an, an eye telephone, you're trying to make a call, and then all of a sudden the earbuds don't work anymore with the built-in microphone and the up and down and the pause. <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber, you sound like Bill Cosby. I did a little bit. Did I sounded like <laughs> Dr. Cosby. <laughs> Dr. Cosby dropped by at one point before. The devil, you say. I wish you two would meet. Oh, if only. Two people at the top of their mediums. Well, that's that's a wonderful. great show. Media. Two people at the top of the media. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever tried writing uh, a musical based on the old Cosby show or the new Cosby show? Well, I did try to provide lyrics to the uh, the Cosby show theme. Oh, right. How did the theme uh, since go? The, since the music was already yes. written, I felt it was not my place to rewrite one Every, another. Everyone knows the, the right th- I had written. <laughs> everyone knows the theme. How does that go again? Bop, bop, ba Bop. Ba, ba. And it goes on like that uh-huh, from there. Uh-huh. And, uh, Those I, were the lyrics that you'd written for it? Yes. <laughs> really? That seems. Yes, like, what do you think? <laughs> a little lazy. I don't know. Lazy? I, I mean, usually your lyrics are so. That's uh, rather judgmental. I, I apologize. I shouldn't. Apology say accepted. Uh, oh, oh, I'm so oh. glad that we're able was to. going to turn for a I second. I know. I'm so glad we're able to get over these things. Uh, <laughs> As am I, dear Scottrick. As am I. <laughs> Scottrick, yes. Yes. Um, so, uh, Oscars. Well, tell us about the Oscars. What do you have? What? Do you have Oscar picks? I- <laughs> <laughs> For next year? Yes, I do indeed. Uh, Avatars, the <laughs> sequel to Avatar. <laughs> there's going to be two Avatars in this yes, movie. Yes, there's more than one. Yes, it took ten years to make the first one, six months to make the second one. Now they've got it down to science. <laughs> yes. The technology is Throw some that. blue people in there and just <laughs> sugar to taste. Indeed. Indeed, uh, I I expect great things from uh, this uh, Jason Statham actor. I think oh. next year is his year. He will be nominated for the, for the Academy Award in the new uh, action film uh, category. Mm. The new category. <laughs> yes, I think they're going so to keep on ex- new category. They're going too. to yes. This is what I'm telling you. I think they're going to keep expanding uh, in order to name uh, more to. things. Yes, when in order you to have nominate something good. More. Yeah, well, this is what I'm trying to say. But you see, the intent on talking no, okay, over let me. Let me tell you something. Just one second. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up for one second. How dare you, Andrew Lloyd Webber? I am a knight quiet. of the British Empire. <laughs> I'm going to deny you if you don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> they're going to expand it. Is what I'm trying to say. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry in advance. Apology not accepted. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait I was minute. trying to say the same thing that you were saying. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm really sorry. Hmm. Uh, emphatic apology. That accepted. changes things. Indeed, it does. It's a game changer. <laughs> 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 it's like the address, the 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. It oh. changes all the rules. Yes. As if there's a murder there, and if Wesley Snipes is around, who? 
<laughs> Never mind. And if Clint <laughs> Eastwood is the Snipes. janitor. I don't know who that is. Wesley, Wesley Wes- S. Snipes. Always Beto Negro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to get back to the Oscars and more stuff. We, we have, don't have to. Ch- okay, good. We have Chupacabra. <laughs> we have Dame Sir Andrew Lloyd W. We have Jason Wolner. Uh, oh, I didn't give you a song. All right. Uh, yes. Should I vamp? Yeah, vamp. Uh, so, what do you got? Anyway... Good. How about <laughs> this? Is in the news. Let me ask you this, uh, El Trupo Cabra. Uh, you've spent some time south of the border, I would imagine. Um, have you gotten a chance to see the uh, the Spanish language adaptation of uh, Cats? Yes. Yo soy Mister Mistopheles. Yo soy un gato. Now, was your radio station El Gato based on the yes, Spanish it language? Was, it was based on the Spanish radio, the Spanish version of the the hip uh, Broadway play Cats. I just assumed. I'd, I've Gatos. never heard Cats described as hip before. Yes. <laughs> oh, you said hip. I'm sorry. I said hip, but it was also hip at the Wither Garden Theater. They were sort of uh, with it, weren't they? Yes. <laughs> Those jellical cats. Yes. All right, here comes Spinal Tap. This is Indie Everyone 103. shut up for the song. <laughs> shut up and, and don't ask for any high signs during this song. Silence! <laughs> Indie 1031, this is Comedy Death Ray. Let's do it! Yeah, that is Bitch School, Indie 1031. This is Comedy Death Ray. I'm here with my guest Jason Wolner of Human Giants and uh, Players and uh, Nick... Uh, fuck. Uh, Chupacabra. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, I'm on autopilot. <laughs> who was who was the other person you mentioned? Uh, Nick Kroll. <laughs> what do you think of Nick Kroll? Oh, he's a real talent. Very versatile. He's very funny. You know who I really like is that John Mulaney. Oh, oh he's I, so good. He's, he's very good. funny. He's, so funny. he's, he's very probably so the favorite. does the heavy lifting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. And Nick is more like the Jason Wolliner of the two. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber also here. Hello. Andrew, what is going on with your social networking profile? What's happening? Oh, do you know? Where can I find you? I love that Twitter. What? Yes. I, I don't have I don't have a, a profile on there. A bit of a lurker <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> but I love all of it. I love people's tweets. I love people's retweets. Mm. I love people's twit pics and twit vids. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I love what Follow else? Friday. How okay. is your musical Twitter coming? <laughs> <sighs> Do you know I'm stalled? Uh, a bit of a writer's block. Mm-hmm. I haven't gotten past the uh, the idea of setting tweets to music. Mm. Now, I'm trying to write it in 140 character bursts. It's proving deucid difficult. Do you write it in 140 notes as well? Or yes. are you allowed more? Wait, have we discussed this already? No, we have That's haven't. exactly what I'm doing. The devil you say. I'm trying to write. I'm trying to write it. <laughs> it's, it's one note per character. Mm. It gets very difficult. It, uh, here's the thing: yeah, your so characters are one note. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you think that would be a help and not a hindrance? <laughs> well, now I can imagine. Okay, some character, some characters have. Uh, not each one is its own syllable, is what I'm trying to say. Do, do you, is that part of? The, okay, a comma has two syllables. Yes. But the s- say a word like and has. Three, well, wait, hold three on, different hold on. characters. I'm going in to it. stop you there. I don't write out the word comma. No, that's what I'm saying. But say, okay, here's a word and, which normally would use one note yes. in a song. But now it's three when you notes. sing and, and, but now it's got to be three notes because it's three different characters. It but doesn't... then comma is two, and you don't even say the comma. Yeah. But Do you're you using two new notes. Scott, Does it average out? Is what I'm you're trying to say. You're putting a Jupacabra to sleep. <gasps> Wait a minute. That <laughs> was not a sound effect. That was me making those noises. Oh. Oh. He just put himself back to sleep. <laughs> I'm back awake. Hello. Hello. Sorry, go back to the fascinating conversation about commas. <laughs> I, I dare say that bordered on the rude. <laughs> it might be sarcasm, but he didn't say sarcasm yes, uh, after it. So. Sarcasm! Oh, 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 it's a, a little delayed. <laughs> it is no wonder you are known as the goat sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Only one who sucks goats would be so rude. <laughs> Anyway, I'm getting hung up on hashtags. <laughs> but enough about Twitter. <laughs> really? Enough about Twitter? Yeah, I think that's about enough. All right, then. Hey, what? I have an idea. <laughs> yes. 
Yeah. Why, don't we, why don't we play broad comedy? We'll play a song and we'll talk about it while it while it uh, plays. Yes, I'd like I, to understand what this broad comedy is all about. I have not heard it. I just literally it was a, a package that I received in the mail. But being as I don't have a lot of CDs, why don't we? Uh, this should be a lesson to anyone listening to this radio. Send Scott Aukerman stuff. Yes. And he will play. Always it. send Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Take that <laughs> chance. <laughs> Did so- you just decide to start doing comedy today? Why don't you record something and send it on to Scott? <laughs> <laughs> and will, but remember, if you send it, we're going to have to talk about it. That's right. <laughs> you know, we're going to have to deal with it, whatever Ooh, it is. caveat emptor. Let's do number one. This is uh, written on a pair of panties that they also sent. This is I'm Saving My Hymen for Jesus, which seems... To have uh, two buzzwords in there, Hyman and Jesus, which are are there to get the attention of the listener, I would think. So. Consider my attention gotten. Sounds like they're talking. Oh, this, is this live? It sounds live. It reminds me of a chorus line. All right, you're shut up for a minute. Let's hear it. Nobody's munching on this muffin. Munching on a muffin, okay. That's Dublon Tong. Do you believe my pastor says that? Pastor. The pact. A sign on the center says do not enter. Well, at least the vocals are unassailable. That puppy intact. There's only one man I let inside. Uh huh. For him, my heart is open wide. Jesus, I would imagine. Hi, men for Jesus. Got it, got it, check. Hi, men for God. I'm saving my high men for Jesus. Keeping the boys away from down there for the big boy up above. Is the idea that right. she uh, hopes to have sexual intercourse with Jesus? I think so. I'm I not don't, sure. As, I, a mu- as a musician, what would your opinion be? <laughs> well, it's unclear. Uh, you know, when she says uh, the first time, I'm saving my high men for Jesus, uh-huh, uh-huh. I thought that the, uh, the next lyric would be something about... Uh, them having sex with each other, but oh, then she right. just sort of, it's a variation on a theme where she says, I'm saving my hymen for God. It seems like they're combining two things, religion and sex, which yes. normally are mutually exclusive. Oh, indeed, yes. So it seems almost groundbreaking in that respect. It's almost. All, it's almost as if that ground is... I wrote is, a song. Uh, oh, oh have you? Uh, yes, it's because I let the devil finger my butthole <laughs> two weeks ago today. Two weeks ago today. <laughs> yes. What happened then? How, 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 how do you know? What well, happened was <laughs> his finger is so hot because he is the devil. Sure. He charred the inside of my rectum and I am no longer able to produce feces. <laughs> but how, I guess what I'm getting at is how, how do you know the date so specifically? How do you know it's two weeks ago today? Like I what, what also you, happened? I think he'd remember. <laughs> yeah. No, but I'm sure he's. I'm in a groundhog month. Okay. Life repeats itself for one month, over and over. So really? it's always two weeks ago. You're in a gra- like that happens <laughs> to you sometimes. You so the whole month happens over and over. Yes. Get into Groundhog. Month? This is the 367th time that I have done this show with you three people. <laughs> How's it going today? <laughs> About <Compared>. the same. <laughs> <laughs> that was broad comedy. That's what I didn't say it was. <laughs> That's a little taste. <laughs> If you're into <laughs> what you just heard, let's let me see. They didn't really provide any kind of like info about themselves. Well, what information is needed? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Broadcomedy.com. Broadcomedy.com. The comedy and the panties speak for themselves. It's usually, usually there's a cover letter or something that explains what it is, but there's not in this. But I, I did see broadcomedy.com. You can take it. And there's your plug, ladies. Enjoy it. Congratulations. <laughs> to all involved. Now, uh, Dame Sir ALW, um, yes. are you working on anything new? Oh, yes. You know, uh, I do love uh, America and. Uh, Mary Kay? Is that what you said? No, America. Oh, the United right. States, dear boy. Oh, sure. And uh, I, I come from a land where the medicine is socialized, where everyone, if, if let's say you uh, scare, stab yourself in the thigh with a screwdriver. Uh, you're allowed to go into the hospital and uh, Why they would someone stitch do you up. Well, just to see what it feels like or just to feel something. <laughs> have, have you ever done something <laughs> it like that? Sounds like you've done it. Well, we're not here to talk about me. I- I'd like to talk about the United no, we States are of America. talking about you. I mean, yes, it, this... and uh, it's going well. So, um, 
but anyway, I, the same freedom uh, from worry about uh, stitching up the screwdriver hole doesn't exist here in America. It's it's very costly to sew up your screwdriver holes. Uh, now, a lot of people, they drill holes in the back of their skull. In trepaining order to get, is called. Yes. To, in to order let to, out the evil spirit. Well, also to get uh, oxygen in there, which is supposedly euphoric and makes you smarter. Yes, but you could just use your nose holes. <laughs> They're already there. That's it takes true. in plenty of uh, but why oxygen. But don't, why don't we? Uh, we have nose holes. Why don't we have holes in the back of our head? I think that's what... That is an issue to take up with the almighty creator, Scottrick. No, he's too busy eating that one girl's pussy. That is true. <laughs> that is true. He's performing uh, some dirty business for that young lady from the song. So get back. I'm sorry to interrupt. Get back to uh, what you're Apology saying. Apology accepted. Oh, th- you are so gracious. <laughs> well, well, I... So that's three acceptance, one uh, not accepted. So far <laughs> yes, for thank you Andrew for Lloyd-Weber keeping apologies. the tally. Keeping <laughs> score with Jason Waller. That's what I Jason hope, does. Uh, the next time you visit a Las Vegas coffee shop, you can <laughs> write up the complete list and send it out in the mass email. <laughs> when you get back to your room, because there is no internet connection at the coffee shop. <laughs> it's the fake. It's the fake sky painted on the ceiling that keeps out the Wi-Fi signal. <laughs> Hmm. Anyway, so uh, I, f- I feel bad for the United States of America because you don't have uh, you don't have universal health care. Mm. I was so moved by this uh, ongoing struggle for for health care reform. I'm, I'm writing a musical about it. Oh yes, a yeah. musical. Oh, see, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, writing a musical uh, about healthcare reform. Now, some might feel this is a very dry subject, and how could you make a, a dynamic musical about uh, healthcare reform in the United States? But have you watched the news lately with all of these characters? I, I have dare not. Say, oh well, you should. Uh, Wait, the news? You know, when is it on? Oh, it's. Oh, when is the news on? I mean, I feel like I see it at all times of the day. Uh, but I don't know. It's Inside so Edition is on at five thirty every day. <laughs> well, that's. <laughs> The, that's the entertainment <laughs> news. Is that the one with uh, Mario Lopez? No, that's access, uh, that's access Hollywood. Is Inside Edition the one with Patrick O'Brien? No. <laughs> Is it the one with the two ladies who sometimes sit on the floor and talk about the entertainment I news? like how casual they are. <laughs> it puts me at ease at home. <laughs> I loosen my ascot a little bit. Your what now? My ascot. Oh. You do that yourself? Don't you, you have a boy for that? Why are you telling me that? You loosen your ass. I beg your pardon. You just said I loosen my ass, Scott. Why are, why are you telling uh-huh. me this? Uh-huh. I see your confusion. Classic outcome. I see your confusion. <laughs> There, you were a. It's your deuced love of commas that got things so <laughs> derailed. You insert commas everywhere; they don't belong. Ah, that is me. That is my style. The old comma lover, <laughs> Scottrick Ackerman. <laughs> anyway, I'm writing a musical about her. Musical. Wait, don't lean back so far. You may fall asleep like Chupacabra was. <laughs> About healthcare. about healthcare. Writing was about healthcare reform. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tell us about it. Well, the villain of the piece is this de- this devilish Max Bacchus <gasps> and his gang of six. It already sounds like a musical that's been written. It yes, hasn't. Is that a real... I'm working on it now. That's real? Can you sing a song for me? Max Bacchus and the <laughs> gang of six? <laughs> yes, I... Uh, you've not heard anything about this at all? <laughs> I'm genuinely angry with you for not paying attention to this. It's your country, stupid. <laughs> this is why you know, it's such may, a mess. We may not have universal healthcare, but we have universal studios. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is movies. a great point, Chuba. Yeah, you can write the movies. That is, and you know, I'm coincidentally writing a musical about universal studios as well. <laughs> about hmm. the, uh, the theme park. Yes. The Jaws ride. We're on the Jaws ride. Hey, look out for that plastic chop, shark chop. and the man in the boat it's all one uniform piece the man is connected to the boat is there uh, a, a section about the fire that that overtook and burned down the king kong ride yes indeed oh, there good. Is. that would be dramatic that's the ballad of the piece is that in act five i or wrote s- this song for that oh if may i, I hear it uh, I, and then i'll do my song for i it. did it i'm the one who burnt down the ride <laughs> wait because a minute, monkeys just scared me <laughs> wait a minute hold on i yeah, think we just had just a confession <laughs> that was a musical confession sarcasm mm. oh okay okay sarcasm yeah he I, said I no i don't know if that i think that was a cover <laughs> really? i don't know if you'll be able to plead sarcasm when you're before the magistrate <laughs> uh, although i don't think that sung <laughs> confessions are admissible in court good catch 
<laughs> that was a close one, my old amigo El Chupacabra. Cucurico, cucurico. Cucurico, indeed. <laughs> So let's hear a little bit of this uh, musical about healthcare with the uh, Max, whoever it is. Max Bocas. Ooh, sounds evil. villainous Max Bocas. I'm hoping he'll be played by my old phantom, Michael Crawford. Oh, he's so good. If he's done with his parlor tricks, Mm. (laughs) doing a show in Las Vegas, your old haunt, Jason. That show FX, right? Yes. Ugh. Exactly. I thought it was based on the network, and I was very disappointed. Well, it predates the network by a couple hundred <laughs> I years. It was well, my based on that movie FX. With the I thought so Michael too. Kane. Yes, Brian Brown. Yes, that's right. Talk into the microphone oh, with Brian Brown, Brown and Brian Dennehy. Yes. Where one you know of them a lot is about <laughs> weird eighties and nineties movies. Oh, that I, I consider that uh, my decade. Uh, that's when I had my greatest successes. Uh, it's after the seventies with a uh, superstar. In parentheses, Jesus Christ superstar. Usually there's applause. And oh, then, sorry, uh, yeah. no, sorry. that's all right. That's all right. I think uh, uh, Tim Rice gets a lot of the credit for that one. Ugh, although we all know that he stinks. Then um, Aida. The, uh, do you need some help? <laughs> Aida. <laughs> no, Ayuda would be Oh, help well, I'm us. sorry. <laughs> my, my Spanish is a bit rusty, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> anyway, the, I've lost interest in the healthcare reform. All right. <laughs> I feel like we've gotten so far All right, you're right. Let, let's move I on. I was excited about the Universal Studios musical. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a better idea, I think. King Kong. Let's play. I uh, smell a smoldering plastic gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do something. Let's play a game, all right? Um, l- I, all right I, you're very petulant today, Scott. <laughs> you seem very upset. No, I'm, I'm just trying to interject uh, forcefully so that uh, we know that it's time to wrap up the previous I, bit. I feel like you're a stern headmaster who's <laughs> lecturing us and really? you're going to uh, make us bend over the desk and give us six of the best. Have you ever um, listened to the Headmaster Ritual by the Smiths? Andrew no. Lloyd Webber. What is, no, who are these Smiths? I feel like I hear a lot about them. Mordesy! Yes, see, now we're talking I... Chupacabra's language. Now, I assumed that perhaps it's because I'm a bit posh. I assumed there were sort of these lower class people who made horseshoes. <laughs> no, uh, I... Am in, I wrong about that? In fact, I imagine you would relate to the headmaster in that song. <laughs> really? Yeah. Now, why is that? Tell me about this fellow. Well, you're more of an upper class uh, person. And, Indeed. And this, th- it's a song about a, a really lovely man who decides to punish some of his students because they're being horrible. Mm, with good reason it sounds. <laughs> And so he punishes them, and they're very petulant about it, mm. and they whine a bit. But then yes, they, they do. Then they learn their lesson, and they go on to successful careers. This song is a happy ending. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, thank you for telling me the story of this song. <laughs> you, you'll have to look it up at one day. I would love. I to, probably won't. I would love to hear you sing it though. Oh, if, perhaps, perhaps if next time. Perhaps next time. you ever have me back on your radio program mm, from the I internet? Would, of course, I would love to have you. All right, let's play a game. Uh, it's time to play. Would you rather? <laughs> oh, those are both great the noises. <laughs> that echo got cut off really. The room got a lot smaller. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Would you little, rather? A little bit of time left rather, in the show, just a little bit of time. Would you rather? Uh, we all know how we play this. I don't need to go into it, but uh, I asked for a last minute call. For Would You Rather today, got a lot of really good ones, so let's do it. Here we go. Octagon, Octagon, Octagon asks, Would you rather fight the ghost of Abe Lincoln or eat your cell phone and gain its powers? Would you rather fight the ghost of Abe Lincoln or eat your cell phone and gain its powers? All right, I'm opening the floor to questions. Okay. Here we go. Chupacabra in early. Can, can if we kill... Abraham Lincoln. Yes. Do we get his powers? Interesting. So you're saying that in this scenario, you want to kill Abraham Lincoln. And turning eat him. T- and eat him. <laughs> turning him into the aforementioned ghost. Sure. Um, which would get... Oh, so, so, okay, and then yes. we would gain his powers for... Yes. Here, here's how it works. Unifying the country through... As you know... Splitting it apart. <laughs> As you know, when you kill someone and eat them, yes. you, you gain the powers of whoever of you course, eat. Of course, I'm the well, gold sucker. I have the power of many goats. <laughs> you can't. That means I can eat garbage. <laughs> I hope you use such power wisely. 
I believe it was Spider-Man who told us with great goat power comes great goat responsibility. Goat stability. <laughs> goat stability indeed. <laughs> Um, so yes, you you uh, have to track down Abraham Lincoln. Of course, there's a time machine involved. Mm-hmm. Uh, you must track down Abraham Lincoln before John Wilkes Booth gets to him. Okay. Six Semper Tyrannis. <laughs> that was the catchphrase. <laughs> yeah, that was his catchphrase. He would always say it. It was a lot like uh, Dana Carvey with "Not Gonna Do It." <laughs> or party on, Rain. Another one. I don't, I've you never heard that such one. A, you have such a clear <laughs> sense of comedy history. <laughs> and that two. must be why you were in right Human now. Giant. Yeah. Uh, what was your catchphrase in Human Giant? That was great, the seas. <laughs> Cut. Uh, <laughs> keep doing what you're doing, Aziz. Uh, <laughs> all right, so you... you you kill Abe Lincoln before John Wilkes Booth is able to. You eat his body. You yes. gain his powers uh-huh. and his hat. Yes. You steal his hat. Yes, and his crazy lesbian wife. Yes, you steal her as well. Mm-hmm. You keep her chained in your basement. Exactly. And then you're able to fight him on his own terms. It's a very equal okay. match. Okay. Okay, so in that scenario, yes, you are able to do that. But I you, have a question. Oh, yes. Andrew More of a query. Okay. <laughs> this fight with your American president, Abraham Lincoln. Yes, sir. Is it physical or verbal? Ah! Is it more of an argument, perhaps? That is the bitter irony, is that you gain his powers, but you don't need him, because what you really need is the mental acuity to take him on in a verbal jousting. I bet Senator Douglas would have liked that. (laughs) Of the Lincoln-Douglas debate. Exactly! (laughs) And that is the other part of the question, is you are only able to recreate the Lincoln-Douglas debates. So you have to memorize uh, Douglas's debate and then um, parrot it back to you. I, I memorized you ca- it. You cannot embroider. Em- oh. <laughs> you have to you have to Your do argument, the, you the mean, debate. Not- yeah, it must be word for word. <laughs> you, you don't mean embroider? literally embroider. <laughs> like on a hat? Like Martha Washington No, did. that is my question. Do you, do you have to are you allowed to embroider a hat? <laughs> In the debate? Yes. Yes. As a matter of fact, it is required. May I I embroider (laughs) the entire debate onto a gigantic trucker hat? Like some sort of... (laughs) (laughs) Vomach nightmare? Some sort of 19th century Judah Friedlander. (laughs) Of course. I don't know how he makes his own hat. Yes. I don't know how you're hitting on this, but of course, yes, you are required to do all of this. I see. I see. Any other questions, Jason? how would that help you in the debate? You would... would I'm not here to be questioned. Hold up a mirror? You don't ask me the questions, you ask Scott the questions. <laughs> Any other questions about the other scenario? The eating the cell phone and getting his powers? I, what would I that mean? be? Does Can I take too? a caller very quickly? Oh, yes, please take a caller, Chip. All I just say, baby. I'm oh, president, baby. 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 Hello, yes. baby. All I just say, baby, from before. Yes, we remember you, baby. I ate my baby a cell phone. <laughs> oh, oh, no. So I know what happened. What so happened? how yeah how does how does this I'm work? I'm just pressing my tummy right now. I have the power of the cell phone. Oh, and what are you doing with that power? I'm calling pizza places. <laughs> Do you order pizza? Or you're I'm calling. Oh, crank yeah. calls. What it's do you crank say? Crank calls, baby. Crank calls. What are you saying to these pizza places? I go. I say, hola. Here, do one. Let's hear it. Okay. Here, yeah. Let's let let's test one out. Hola. Hey, this is a pizza place. Hola, can I have a pizza, please? Oh, yeah, what's your name? Mike Hunt. How do you spell that? I don't know how to spell I'm a baby. Click. <laughs> oh, May nice. I say, it doesn't seem so much that the baby had harnessed the power of a cell phone <laughs> so much as just was using a cell phone in a different way. No, what you're not getting because it's the magic of radio and phone calls Indeed. is that he was pressing his stomach and transmitting through his baby body. Uh-huh. But still, the cell phone is, still could do. Cell phone seems to be intact <laughs> yeah. in the baby's belly. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. not very. It's not very impressive. So I think the ghost one would win then. Well, hold, how, hold the how fucking How dare phone. you? I, I am inside my tummy. It's almost. <laughs> Apology accepted. <laughs> it's for, almost like you have never acceptance. played this before. Don't know the rules. Sorry. We do not vote yet, Jason Wallner. Sorry, Scott. he's a bit of a tyro when it comes oh. to uh, would you rather? He's a maverick. <laughs> All right, so let's vote. <laughs> we'll, start with, we'll start with Jason Walter. I just got a real talking t- I had I had one further question, if I Nope, may. sorry, we're voting. Fair enough. Jason, what do you got? Ghost. Ghost, and why is it? Um, I think there's more power to be gained. 
Mm, and the, the power of Abe Lincoln? Yeah. But what does Abe Lincoln do? What are his powers? He's just an important person. Huh. <laughs> the power to be a VIP. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on to Andrew Lloyd Webber. We can get a question in if you if you had one. Well, I just wanted to know, um, do standard text messaging rates still apply if I eat this phone? Great question. <laughs> Thank um, you. No, you get free texts. Mm. <laughs> so that's one. Unlimited? Unlimited, yes. Free texts. Who as are much you as texting? You Oh, so many people. I, I love to text. Really? Yes. I, I'll text, uh, let's see, David Bowie. I'll text uh, Rod Sturt. I'll text uh, the Queen of England, uh, Elizabeth. A lot of second. Oh. So now, how do you vote then? Does that sway your vote at all? It, are you asking me for my vote yes, now? Yes, vote, please. I vote. Ghost. The ghost. Why yes. is that? Yes. Well, I, I would like to have ghostly powers, walk through walls, appear in bedrooms that bear my name and such and so forth. Hmm. Uh, wait, bedrooms that bear your name? Well, yes, you know, Lincoln's ghost. He haunts oh. the White House. I Your you American Lloyd White Webber's. House. <laughs> I was wondering what bedrooms have Andrew Lloyd Webber's uh, name on them. I'd probably, in your house, famously, I would you probably, sleep in the Andrew Lloyd Webber's Yes, bed. I do sleep in the Andrew Lloyd Webber bedroom. You, you have a sign on yours that says, this is Andrew Lloyd Webber's bedroom, bless this mess. I have, yes, I have a plaque, a bra, brass plaque that reads, uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber sleeps here. Um... And you don't have to be crazy to sleep here, but it sure helps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving to Chupacabra. How do you vote, sir? I vote for the baby cell phone. Really? Tell us why. Because. Wait, it's not a baby's cell phone necessarily. <laughs> I was going to oh, say. Oh, it's not? No, that was, that was No, it's you. just you have the powers of that the cell phone. That was a device of your own creation. <laughs> <laughs> I would, okay, then I must rethink this. Because if I could have a baby that was a cell phone, I would take that for sure. Well, of course we all would. <laughs> That's not what we're voting on. By heavens. That's we, a no-brainer. If we could hold a baby up to our ears yes. instead of these heavy cell phones. Ew. I would rather hold a nice eight-pound baby up to my ear. <laughs> these, these hard cell phones. His little soft belly. <laughs> yeah, Just grazing Rissing my ear. And he would, it would laugh every time you held it he up. He would and made giggle it and goo. Ugh. The best would be, it would be a flip phone. Of course And you smoosh their fat, chubby baby legs into yeah. their faces and you put it into your pocket. Yeah. And then you have a baby in your pocket. Oh. Finally, <laughs> mankind's <laughs> greatest dream. You know what, I'm, I'm going to say that if you vote for that, then you are the winner. Yes, Because I vote it's for that going then. off the board, but, but that is a better scenario than Thinking either of Thinking outside of the box. And uh, But that's all that we have time for today. It's just one question. So, Chupacabra, you are the winner today. Okay. Congratulations. You win a pair of I'm Saving My Hymen for Jesus panties. Oh, good. Donated by the fine ladies of broadcomedy.com. Uh, and that is how you play Would You Rather. Questions. Questions. <laughs> All right, that is how you play. Would you rather? Now, guys, we're at the most exciting time of the show. Okay? Oh, yes. This is the time Mostly I was talking yes. about a little bit before. <laughs> oh, I know what's coming. All right, let's play the theme song over here. For my next number. Oh, I didn't know it started with some of this. Let's get through hey. dialogue. Let's vamp. Uh, <sighs> blah, blah, blah. Uh, Rap song. How about oh, wait, the, oh, here we go. It's time for the plugs. Plugs are happening. Here we go. What is this song like? This song is Plug Tune In by De La Soul. It was suggested to me by Michael Garrett. Said this would be a good theme music for the plugs. I would so. be more impressed if it were Leaf Garrett. <laughs> or Brad Garrett. <laughs> the noted giant who stars in Situation Comedy. Oh, Perfect. Perfect. 